All right, Dolphin fans, here we go. Playoff game in Kansas City, about 155 degrees below zero. Should be fun. Now, if you're confused as to why I have a Panthers hoodie on with the Dolphins hat, it's because they're on the Hockey Channel as well. Panthers are playing at the same time. So, we're, what's that? we're a multitasking. We're multitasking. By the time the game comes on, I should be able to switch to my Dolphins hoodie. But I don't know. I don't know, maybe I should just leave this on and see. I mean, what if that's the secret ingredients? I tried the Merino jersey. I tried the hoodie. I can't wear the, the Zach Thomas jersey. is like 0 for 10. I can't wear that. So maybe we'll just stick with this. I mean, it can't hurt, right? What are the odds we're going to win in Kansas City? In fact, I'm just going to stick with this. And if we win, I'll just wear a Panthers hoodie the rest of the way. And if we're getting blown out at halftime, I'll switch to the Dolphins hoodie. I, that's the best chance we got, all right? It's going to be like 30 below. I have played football in below zero, all right? Um, I mean, I talked about yesterday in a video. Basically, tell your friend to go on the roof with a cinder block and have him toss the cinder block at you. You try to catch it. That's what it's like trying to catch football in these conditions. It's not fun, all right? It is, it is not for an old man. I'll tell you that. It is for 30 and under. That is it. Okay, it is not fun playing in this weather and um, run the ball. I mean, I say that every week, but this this is the week, Mike. This is the week. Mo I, I don't even know if Mostert's playing or not. The last I saw, all I heard was, you know, maybe, possibly, probably, we don't know. Um, same thing kind of with Waddle. It's, it's early in the day, so those updates haven't happened yet. But it doesn't matter, okay? You still got a chance. You still got Wilson. Chris Brooks... Looked pretty good when he was on the field for the five minutes before he got hurt. All right, big, strong guy, got fresh legs. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Just run the ball. All right, I mean, Tua, Tua don't exactly like the strongest arm in the NFL with a 20-mile-an-hour win when it's eight below. It's probably not good. Just run the ball and see what happens. Nobody's given us a chance to win. I mean, if you're a real diehard Dolphin, of course you have hope. But at the same time, even if we're like up 14 nothing, do you buy that, right? Like I could come in here at halftime and be like, it's 14 to 3 Miami. Do you do you do you have faith that we're gonna hold the lead? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I've tried positivity all year long. We're in the playoffs, yes, but we've done basically the typical December thing. The only thing standing between us and the perfectly typical Dolphins. December thing is a Jason Sander field goal at the end of regulation to beat the Cowboys. And the fact that Mike McCarthy just didn't run the ball. Instead, he gave us time on the clock. That's really the only thing standing between us and a complete meltdown that might actually let us out of the playoffs. Okay? So, Dolphins, prove me wrong. I, oh, I would love to be coming in here post-game and, and be proven wrong. And because then that would make the games the next two days a lot more fun, wouldn't it? Right? We got to stream all the games. I don't want to watch Buffalo and Pittsburgh knowing, uh, you know, we, we, we got eliminated. Just once, guys, could we win a playoff game, please? So it's 16 to 7, Kansas City at halftime. Now, I'm filming this at halftime. So this might be a bit of an over-emotional overreaction, etc. However, at the very least, based on what I saw in that first half, um, can we please, 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 baby, please, begging you, baby, please, have somebody else call the plays for this offense next year. Mike McDaniel just cannot get out of his own way second in inches and we managed to screw it up second and two excuse me third and two after two runs by Mostert it's third and two pass pass punt or excuse me pass pass turnover on downs he just can't do and the passes are one of was a bubble screen he just cannot functionally keep that maniacal cockeyed brain of his straight long enough to just see that the running game is working and to keep running the ball. 
and it's January. It's 25 below zero. This is when you need to run the ball. The defense is doing everything it possibly can. Where they're doing as much as they can, considering there's no guys left on the field. It, we've allowed 16 points. Yeah, have they missed some passes? Could it be more? Yeah, but it's not. We've had one play. And every time we get something decent going, McDaniel is literally play calling us out of whatever momentum we have. I'm not even going to blame Tua. Tua has his flaws, but you could hide a lot of those flaws by running the ball, you little freaking idiot. I hope I come back and I have a better attitude after the game. But... We get the ball to start the, 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 the third quarter here. You got to get points because at some point, Kansas City going to break this loot. They're going to get another touchdown. We're not going to hold them the field goals the rest of the game. Although we did shut them, we did shut them out in the, in the second half of the first game. Come on, come on, Mike. The, the, we, could, we can beat this team. We can win this game. But you got to get out of your own damn way. So... I was ranting and my dad figured, hey, why don't you rant in front of the camera? I just have a few words to say. So, my dad has been getting his hearts ripped out Kano style by this team repeatedly after they raise his hopes up for about 45 going on 50 years. I have only had to put up with this torture for about 15. In that time, the Dolphins have been to the playoffs that makes, what, five times? No, excuse me, four times. I watched them get destroyed by the Ravens, destroyed by the Steelers, just barely lose to the Bills when we were starting Skylar Thompson, and now this. And I just have to say, if the Dolphins' goal in life is to turn every Dolphins fan into the dejected and completely unexpecting of any hope or happiness the, like the my word, dad the is. The word you're looking for is numb. Numb. If you wanted numb. to make me as numb as <laughs> my dad comes come every year when the Dolphins have any hope <laughs> or opportunity of making it to a playoff victory, let alone divisional or conference or Super Bowl, heaven forbid. Congratulations, you are turning me into my father. <laughs> <laughs> and every single year, and it hasn't changed after we got into a, it hasn't changed after we threw Brian Flores' ass out on the curb and replaced him with the evil genius and Mike McDaniel who calls bubble screens on third and two and second and inches <laughs> or the quarterback that never looks past his first read and will just go F it Tyreek is down there somewhere in double coverage or F it Chase Claypool is down there in double coverage when we need to win the division or something else will happen. We had a 14-point lead against the Titans with three minutes left in the fourth goddamn quarter, and Vic Vangio was drugged. <laughs> That's the only explanation I have for the defense collapsing, and the offense doesn't have an off switch, so we blew that game. We, had a, we blew a three-game lead on the division with five games left, and now we have suffered... The impossible. We suffered a loss worse than losing to the Bills because we were starting Skylar Thompson. I was happy. I was optimistic after last year. And, then, and after this, I'm not even sad. I am angry. You know what I want to do to Tua or, and especially McDaniel right now? I want to go through the television screen and strangle them with my bare hands and not choke them out. I just want to carry them up with my hands and just shove them together into a locker, strip down to their underpants, in, and leave them in arrowheads in the cold, in the frigid subarctic temperatures. So there. 
That's what I've that, got to that, say. That, 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 I don't even think I need to say anything. I think that does it. Yeah. I'll be, uh, um, well, <laughs> no, we'll end it that way. There's, there's nothing more to say <laughs> in this moment right now other than thank you all for joining us on the recaps and the live streams all year long. And, um... I don't know what day Trey and I will have the review out. I had planned on doing it Monday, but now they switched the game to be, uh, the Buffalo game to be on Monday, so we're streaming all the rest of the games. So, yeah. See that? Yeah. See yeah. that right there? Yeah, he's, he's See talking Shula about Don kicking Shula. Whoever that man is That's in the ass. That's what he He's kicking Mandich in the ass right there. Shula is kicking Mandich in the ass. Right. I want Shula to rise from his grave. In fact. Go to Arrowhead. Yes. And kick both Tua and McDaniel <laughs> repeatedly in the ass until they relent. Yes. And quit See? calling bubble screens on four or no, excuse me, second and inches. That's or a real coach. Making only the pass to the first read who's being double covered. There's Shula. You can see his coordinators holding him back from getting ready to punch the ref. And That's, you can see the look on the ref's face is like, bro, I don't, I don't care. And, and Shula is getting held back from punching him. Yes, that's. I wish Mike had done that. Exactly. And of course, there's there's Zonk. There's Zonk. There's Zonk. So, yeah. All right. That does it for this year's version of the Miami Dolphins. Trey and I will be back with the review. Maybe not tomorrow, but probably Monday or maybe even Tuesday. Give us a couple of days. Kyle. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. <laughs>